Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel Vortigon Gaming. Let's run some Mythic Plus dungeons in World of Warcraft. Today we are going to be running a The Everbloom level 13 as an Arcane Mage. The weekly affixes are Tyrannical, Incorporeal, and Spiteful. I will be doing my best to give a live commentary of the dungeon run. If you're into that kind of content, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, so the tank did call for Lust on the first pull. Unluckily, I am uh, trapped in the choking vines over here, so it's not going to be a uh, relatively productive lust for me, but um, you know, it's fine. This is only a level 13, so um, it shouldn't be too bad from here on out. Basically, if you're running a dungeon a level 13 this late in the season, uh, you don't really have to do anything other than uh, do the mechanics properly and don't die to uh, don't die to stuff you shouldn't die to and whatever run of whatever dungeon you're doing should go uh, relatively smoothly. That being said, I have been running this dungeon uh, over the course of this last week. <coughs> Excuse me, I also uh, apparently have a little bit of a cough so uh, you will have to excuse me for that. Uh, well, I mean, you don't have to, but it would be a kindness if you do. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, I've been uh, running this dungeon a little bit this week, and uh, what I have found is that this uh, dungeon might be a little bit hard at a higher level, so I figured, you know, uh, we are about a few hours out from uh, the weekly reset, so I figured I may as well come back into this dungeon at a lower level and kind of uh, get busy get a bit of practice in, see what I uh, can do differently for next week. So that way next week hopefully I can run this at a level 20. No, I have actually run a couple awaken. of, oh I've ran exactly two of the uh, dungeons for this season at a level 20 so far. Uh, I've already gotten, okay. Someone is, there we go. I've already run, uh, what is it, Black Recold, and I think the other one was Darkheart Thicket, actually, which I was not out looking that one to be, uh, <clears throat> you know, an easy, an easy, uh, level 20 run, but, uh, I actually ran it earlier, uh, actually a few hours ago, now that I think about it. And, uh, yeah, and I don't even have my, uh, four-piece tier set yet. Uh, which just goes to show you that you don't really need to worry about gear, or you don't really need to worry about, like, any of the, you know, the things that most players tell you that you need to worry about online, things like meta and, like, gear spec. Uh, you really just need to know how to, you know, not die to stuff, and, uh, learn the basics of how to play whatever class you're playing, and, uh, you, you know, you can get up to a, a relatively high level, uh, running Mythic Plus Dungeons, right? Hopefully I can actually get around to uh, recording a run at a plus 20 level. It is, uh, of course, uh, Christmas week, so, um, you know, recording is not the easiest thing to do during the, during, during the holiday season, but hopefully uh, we can get around to that soon enough. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, right after uh, this pack goes down, the boss is going to come online. And I think if I hit shifting power now, shifting power uh, lowers the amount of time left on my cooldowns. So if I hit shifting power now, I should have lust, lust back up off cooldown uh, by the time that this boss's energy or resource meter hit zero. And then he goes into a phase where he takes 100% increased damage. So whatever damage we're doing to him now, or whatever damage we would do him to him now, if we were, uh, you know, popping our burns, popping our cooldowns, uh, he would he takes twice that amount of damage. Oh, we do want to dodge the swirly right there. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit evocation to get some of our mana back. And then once he goes into uh, hit this form, we'll go ahead and hit shifting power. Then we can actually... Oh, okay. I want to blink out of this as soon as I can. Okay, there we go. Uh, 
All right. And then we'll have some fun looking at our uh, damage meter spike up pretty high. So let's swap back to that. Okay. Oh, we can hit shift and power to get some of our cooldowns back. I forgot about that. So it looks like he has um, taken in one ball. Um, the boss will take in four of these floating uh, water balls before he comes back online, and I have an ad chasing me. This is not good. I'm going to go ahead and hit Frost Nova, lock them in place so that they stop running after me. It looks like the boss is going to come back online in... Yep, there it is. So I think that was a pretty good uh, that was a pretty good phase there. We got him down to about 20%. Uh, I think we can kill him before he goes into the phase again. Ideally, you do want to uh, stop as many of those water balls as you can so that he doesn't phase back into this phase since it is going to take us a bit longer to uh, kill him since he's not um, taking more damage. <coughs> But uh, he is actually going to phase back in that phase, and that will actually let us do more damage to kill him quicker. And there he goes. So we'll go ahead and give ourselves a slash cheer and move on to the next part of the dungeon. Also, I do want to hit shift and power to uh, lower, some, lower the time on my uh, cooldowns. Oh. I am lagging a little bit. I'm not sure why. Okay, here we go. Alright. Luckily this is only a level 13, so... The spiteful affix doesn't kick in until level 14. So we don't have to worry about ghosts running after us after uh, these adds die. All right. Yeah, these berserkers like to uh, hop on you a little bit and start spinning. Don't want to be standing in that ring when they do that. Also, I want to sidestep that uh, patrol right there. And this patrol actually has a twisted abomination. Actually, earlier this week when we were facing these packs, uh, well, when we were going through this part of the dungeon, um, just the abominations do this noxious, erup no noxious eruption. I think that's how to pronounce it. I'm not. I'm not too sure about that, but that eruption attack that the abominations do—it's a uh, group-wide damage, and uh, that's a good. Um, that's a good ability to save this uh, ability I have down here called Mass Barrier for. If you hit Mass Barrier before the Twisted Abomination. Um, ends the noxious, the noxious eruption cast. Um, it will actually block some of the damage coming out from that cast uh, for everyone in your group. So, you know, in case uh, you know the other players in your group kind of have low health and whatnot, and you don't think they'll live through the next noxious, noxious eruption. Um, mass barrier could come in handy and uh, stop them from dying. Okay. Corporeal being is out. Oh, I focused the wrong one. But luckily, someone had my back. And uh, took care of the. Oh, never mind. This guy is. Okay. They took care of him. Uh. Yeah, those ghosts should uh, go away before I have to uh, polymorph one of them again, so. Okay. Twisted Abomination is here. We're gonna watch out for the Noxious Eruption. I think I said it right that time. I feel like I want to say Noxus because of that uh, one 
that one region in the League of Legends lore, but you know. I think it's spelled almost the same too. Maybe one or two letters are the difference. Anyway, we won't have to worry about it since uh, the ad did die. I need a target. So now we can do damage to that Berserker, take it down. And it looks like we have one more Twisted Abomination to deal with. Funny enough, these are not even the worst, uh, the worst trash mobs in the dungeon. In my, uh, in my thinking. Oh, okay. Right, so I think um, when I asked this group when they wanted less, I think they did say on boss number two. And this right here is the tooth boss. So we're gonna go ahead and hit lust. And then we're gonna pop a burn. Oh, toxic bloom needs to be kicked, but I think I doubled up on the uh, kick with someone else in the group. So uh, we also want to not stand in that after it lands. Okay. Torrential Fury is ending. Okay. And then we keep damaging uh, this guy, but we, yeah, we do want to kick uh, Revitalize. If we don't kick Revitalize, I can always spell steal it since it is a, I think it's a magic spell, so. And I have spell steal which steals a beneficial magic effect from a target, so. Okay. Let's sidestep the green swirlies there. Alright. And the burn face here. I don't know if I've gone over it in uh, this video yet, or in this VOD yet, but, uh... I mean, I, I, I don't feel, I don't really feel the need to go over it since you don't really need to know this in order to, uh, you know, complete a level 13 or time a level 13 key. Uh, but the arcane mage rotation uh, is pretty straightforward. It has two phases. Basically, it has the burn phase and the conserve phase. The burn phase is what I'm going to show you right now, right, right after Gola dies. Basically, you put radiant spark on a target. You cast five spells on that target. One of them being a uh, barrage, and as barrage traveling to the target, you put Touch of the Magi on the target. And the idea is that Radiant Spark and Touch of the Magi uh, give you a window of time for you to do as much damage as you can to the target. And then once that Touch of the Magi drops off the target, you go into the Conserve phase, which is basically just use your spells in such a way that you have enough mana for the next burn phase. That being said, um, you don't need to know all that. Until maybe you're, you know, you're trying to push like level 25s or, or something like that. Uh, and also, if you want more detail about it, you can always find a, uh, whatchamacallit, like a guide for it on, on YouTube or something like that. Anyway, that was the tooth boss going down, so I did go ahead and give myself a slash cheer since we did, uh, you know, take it down. And now we're heading on over to... I would say the worst part of this dungeon. Uh, this trash mob is... This might be the worst trash mob of the whole season. I'm not sure about that. I mean, there may be some other trash mobs in some of the other dungeons this season that are that are pretty bad, but like these, uh, these mages here... Uh, you know, kind of give us a hard time, I feel like. Luckily, this is a tyrannical week, so the uh, so the trash packs are not buffed. The only the bosses are. Also, although some of the bosses in here are also pretty bad, I think. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and we'll do a burn on these guys. We'll also go ahead and oh, okay.
Don't think the polymorph came out in time. It looks like we did get hit by a destabilize. Uh, but you know what? That is all right. Since we are almost done uh, with that trash pack here. Now for the boss. The boss is... This boss is... A little bit rough if you don't have, like, a healer. Or if the healer dies early or something like that. I have wiped uh, a few times on this boss over the course of this uh, week. I also want to make sure that I am not stepping in fire. That would be bad since it would uh, it would lower my health. Okay. Let's try to bait this uh, arcane thing and oh, okay, you know what? Are you afraid to I fight? may have yeah, I shadow pulled one of those trash mobs over there, but luckily I uh, I have invisibility And it did not aggro anyone else in the uh, All right oh, All right There we go That was not the best burn I accidentally put um, Radiant Spark on the boss before I had my Touch of the Magi available. Okay. No one got hit by any of the, uh... The Ice Balls, that's good. And I, ha I do have Touch of the Magi back now, so let's go into that burn. Okay. As long as you are... As long as you don't have an ice ball between you and that uh, arcane swirly, uh, you don't run the risk of getting pulled into one of the ice balls. Since if you do get pulled into one of those ice balls, you will be put in like a like an ice block, and I think it does damage to you over time. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we'll blink over here. Uh, but that's not even going to uh, be a big deal since we uh, did just take the boss down. So I'll go ahead and give myself a slash cheer and move on. To the last part of the dungeon. Uh, this should be enough for uh, the trash mob percentage, I feel like. The other thing is, is we are running this dungeon so quickly that we don't even have hero. Well, I mean, I, I, have, I have hero off cooldown. I have time warp off cooldown, right? Uh, but the debuff still has like three and a half minutes to go most likely oh oh yeah the other thing is that you want to wait we must stop this beast before, uh, before you go into this portal since uh, the boss aggro's right after going in so you know uh, I will go ahead and give myself hero or time warp I should say okay again uh, by mistake, I am um, putting Radiant Spark on the target before I had uh, Touch of the Magi ready to go. But you know what? We will uh, we'll work with it. We'll also go ahead and hit Shifting Power to get uh, some of those cooldowns back. All right. That doesn't look good. Okay. Good thing about my build is that throwing a uh, barrage on my target makes me run quicker. So, oh, it looks like we missed one, but you know what, that's fine. And this is only level 13, so I don't have to worry about having enough damage for the ad that pops out. Early this week, I was running this, I think, like, level 19, and, um, trying to get that ad down before the, uh, kind of the next mechanic happens was, uh, was a bit rough. Uh, but it is a good, um, it is a good habit to, uh, switch over to the ad when it comes out, so that you can kind of burn it down as quickly as you can. And then uh, we'll use the speed boost from our barrage to uh, step on all these flowers. 
Alright. Last one. I think we got them all this time, right? Yeah, that looks good. Alright. One more time. Or I hope one more time. It looks like he is getting pretty low in the health bar. So... I think maybe we can pump all the damage into the, uh, the boss. Yeah, you know what, we'll, uh... We'll try to leave some of that damage, I think. Actually, no, we'll switch over to the, uh, the add. All right, now. Yeah, let's barrage. And you know what? I won't even worry about the last two since this boss is dying right now. Which is going to do it for the Everbloom level 13. So we'll go ahead and give ourselves a slash cheer. Thank everyone for a relatively clean run and even congratulate them for beating the timer and even two-starring it. And of course, we are an arcane mage. So, the common courtesy is to give everyone a portal back to the main hub of the expansion. And that's going to about do it here for this run. So if you like what you saw here, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see me run any other dungeons during Dragonflight Mythic Plus Season 3, let me know in a comment down below which dungeon you'd like to see me run. Hopefully I can get around to posting a bot of that. Anyway, that's going to about do it for me here, so I hope you all had fun watching, and I will see you all later.